Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Steph, I'm the secret slob. I have three little kids. I'm a crazy busy stay-at-home mom. I have finally found a system of cleaning and keeping myself and my home organized that just makes everything so much easier. Thank you so much to Ruggable for sponsoring today's video. I am redoing my whole living room, starting with this beautiful, bright rug that I got from Ruggable. I can't wait to show you, it looks amazing. Okay, so let's get started. All my routines, first thing in the morning until last thing at night. At the beginning of every week, I download and fill out my weekly cleaning schedule. I like to modify this to fit my life to a T. So I put everything I like to get done in the morning, on the morning, evening, evening. Then I write down all of the things I wanna do deep cleaning in and my daily focuses. If you wanna use this, it's free. The link is in the description, help yourself. Okay, here we go, all of my daily routines. I'm gonna put a timer in the upper corner so you can see exactly how long it's taking me to get everything done. The first thing I do, I'm still in my gym clothes, is I make my bed. As quickly as I can, I throw in a load of laundry. That's two things off the list, done. I get myself dressed and have a shower. That takes about five minutes, so I'll add that to the clock up top. Then I come downstairs and see my kids and get their breakfast ready and unload the dishwasher. Basically, we're just getting the day started. Having an empty dishwasher first thing in the morning is one of my best hacks for keeping your kitchen clean all day. If you have a place to put dirty dishes, they stay off the counter and out of the sink. Okay, so we're all done breakfast, baby's on the floor playing, and I'm gonna get all of the breakfast dishes cleaned up. I also have to sweep the floor about five times a day because my little baby's just learning how to eat and he spills a ton. So again, just getting all those dishes done as we make them helps keep that kitchen nice and clean and clear. After that, the baby goes down for a nap and my girls usually find something to play with independently. It's this time that I take to do a little bit of makeup and do my hair. It just makes me feel like I'm ready and I'm good to go for the day. So if someone comes over, not a problem. If I wanna leave the house, not a problem. While I'm upstairs, I'm gonna take 30 seconds to just quickly wipe down this bathroom. I wipe down one bathroom every day. I call it the bathroom swish, and it just keeps all my bathrooms nice and clean, and I never have to do a really big, gross, nasty clean. My girls' toilet always gets really dirty because sometimes they forget to flush, but they're trying their best. The last thing I'm gonna do before I relax for the morning is just quickly switch over the laundry so it's ready for me to fold anytime I'm ready. Then I'm just gonna sit down for a bit. My baby boy is up now, I got him dressed and we're just having a little play. So this is our brand new rug and I know if you guys have been watching for a while, you know I have a love-hate relationship with the furniture in my house and my old rug because I'm torn between buying new stuff that I want and it getting ruined by my kids who still, you know, have a lot of accidents. So when I heard about this type of rug from Ruggable that you can take the top off and actually throw in the washing machine, I was all in. It's super soft, it grips to the floor like crazy so we're not sliding around anymore and I just love the bright colors. You guys know I don't like having a bland house. I'll leave a link in the description plus a discount code so that you can save money on your purchase of a machine washable rug. I know, it sounds crazy, but it's true.
Okay, so later on in the morning, we've had a little play. I've read to my kids. We're just kind of chilling out. I'm going to start doing some zone cleaning. So this week I'm really focusing on their bedroom. And one thing I know I have to do is declutter their clothes. It's getting out of control and we have to switch over from summer to winter stuff. So sad. So I'm gonna take five minutes here. I've got my timer on and just try to get through as much stuff as I can. If I run out of time, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna get back in there tomorrow and work a little bit more. So I did manage to get through all of their drawers, get them all tidied up, get all of those clothes out of there that they don't need anymore. And then I got called away to make lunch. So we had our lunch and then afterwards I'm just getting cleaned up. Probably gonna sweep the floor again. <laughs> you know, it's like a five times a day thing. So again, I'm just cleaning up after every meal, trying to keep that house nice and tidy and clean as I go. The easiest way to get your pots and pans cleaned is to do them right away. If you let stuff crust on the floor or in pots and pans, it just takes longer in the long run to scrub it all down. So get stuff done right away and it'll take you half as long. In the afternoon, my daughter is napping, my oldest one is up and the baby is up from his second nap. So I'm just gonna run around the house and do a really quick power tidy. This is when I basically just go as fast as I can, putting things away and just making the house look presentable. There is toys everywhere, there is shoes everywhere. It's just a part of life when you have kids. So I try to get this done one time and then figure I'm done. So once a day, basically keeps on top of it and I don't worry about it after that. Since I'm up and working anyways, I'm going to tackle my hot spot, which is this area of our house called a command station where we just keep a lot of random stuff. Takes me two minutes and I just get it nice and cleared. In the afternoon, I'm just gonna sit down for about 10 minutes and pay some bills, take care of some paperwork. I call this plan and pay day, it's Tuesday, and it's just my way of staying on top of all that paper stuff and all of my bills and all of those online things that just need to be checked in with. So then after dinner, I'm going to do all the dishes and clean up the kitchen myself, but normally my husband does this with me. So it usually takes half the time, but he's really camera shy. He doesn't want to be in the video. So I said, okay, I'll do it myself. And he took the kids for a walk. So just keep in mind that, yeah, normally I do have help, but it probably still won't take that long. I try to clean up as much as I can while I'm cooking and get as many dishes as I can done before we sit down to eat. And then I mostly just have to do our eating dishes. Another really awesome hack that I've picked up about staying stress-free and organized is getting my life for the next day organized 
the night before. So my kids have school tomorrow. I have to get a snack ready and make sure both of their backpacks have everything they need in them. They're still pretty young, so I make sure to take care of this and then I double check with them. I also make sure I have my keys and anything else I'll need for the morning. One of the last things I do in the evening is fold, or should I say not fold, and just sort my clothes. I don't fold my kids' clothes. I don't fold most of my clothes. I find it saves so much time, and it doesn't matter because my kids were going to mess up their drawers anyways. I'll post a link to my no-fold laundry method. You might think it's crazy, but it works for me, and it helps me save so much time. The last thing I do at the end of the night is put away all the clean dishes, and I shine up my sink. This way my kitchen is ready to go for tomorrow. It's nice and clean and I know I'm done for the day. So that's pretty much the end of my day. After this I go, I sit on the couch, I watch Netflix and then I head to bed. I'm ready to go for the next day and I'm feeling pretty stress free. So all in all, it looks like it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes to do all of my cleaning. That includes getting myself ready in the morning, getting all of my dishes done after meals, cleaning up after my kids and just generally keeping my life organized. One hour, 20 minutes a day, I would say that's pretty good considering I've got three little kids running around that I have to keep up with every single day. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.